In this video I'm going to present and assemble a 3D printed magnetic saw guide which I designed in Fusion 360 and printed on my heavily calibrated Prusa Mini. The design is based on the Nobex 505 magnetic saw guide which isn't a particularly pricey bit of kit so before you ask why I'm making one instead of buying one I'll answer maybe I don't just want one. It's also a task to maintain and practice my CAD modeling skills, an activity to do while in lockdown and because making is a source of entertainment and interest for myself. It is also a DIY tool that could be part of an induction or workshop project that I could introduce once I get back to my day job in higher education. The 3D printed parts cost around £2.60 in material, although they are made from standard PLA and a more durable material will cost a little more. In total, factoring electricity and the remaining parts, the overall cost is under £10, which is a massive saving of £21 compared to the shop-bought version, and as long as I don't factor in my hourly rate in the equation. I'm going to shut up now and let you enjoy the video, but I'll be back at the end to describe the parts in more detail and where I made some changes to the design.
So the problem I have at the moment is I don't have a saw, so I'm going to have to so I'm going to have to simulate this with a knife. May need to put some PTFE adhesive tape on the front just to make it a bit smoother. And I think the magnets are a bit too strong for the application. Maybe something three or four mil thick as opposed to 10 uh, would be better. Maybe only two as well. However, the principle works. This lip here provides a positive edge against the material and then the saw would glide across that. And then it's just a matter of using a permanent marker pen to indicate the numbers where I've done the tiny dots. So I've redesigned these two components so that some M4 nylock nuts fit at the end and I have a shallower recess here for these thinner magnets and I think this is a better combination. So I'll just assemble this now. These magnets are actually cracked. So be careful not to over tighten the machine screws as it will crack the magnets. They're only two mil thin. Despite the opening on the magnet being four millimeters, the countersink is more like an M3 machine screws taper. So the head sits a little proud and if over tightened, the head wedges the magnets until they break. This time I stopped the second I felt some resistance and because I'm using nylon nuts, I don't have to worry about anything rattling loose. I then check with a flat edge that nothing is protruding, which would either deflect or damage the tool. And now it's pretty much ready to go, but I still don't have a handsaw in my flat. So you're just gonna have to imagine the rhythmic sound of a saw thrusting back and forth, singing its little love grunts to the act of cutting. I think I'm going to leave this video here, that's more or less it. The squareness and accuracy of your parts really depends on your 3D printer, and I have several videos about calibrating 3D printers which I'll link to in the description below. I'll also make the files available in a few different places, again with the links in the description. And that leaves me with the final thing to say which is thanks again for watching, don't forget to sacrifice a thumb to the algorithm gods, and you'll catch me in the next one, doing what you love.